Speak to him like a person. Bernie. Oh, motherfucker. We've had a good run, you know? We go back. We don't go back. What the fuck are you talking about? Bernie, man, you know, we've been hanging out for a while. We've been driving around, you know. We're both fucking good friends, but I just think it's time I do something else. You need this. You guys need this. You, this day and age, can't be driving around with you selling cars, selling house insurance, selling whatever. Can't be rocking up in a dirty car. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this shit makes millions. It, it's, this will back your business up. You guys need this in your life. You've never seen a car shine. You've never seen anything shine like you've seen this shit shine. You've never seen anything shine like you've seen this stuff shine. That? Fucking con man. You don't think I've been called fucking con man? You need this in your life. This shit is the fucking bee's knees. No, don't swear. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. This shit's the real deal. Shit's the real deal. It's a suit. It's a suit, all right. What? Like I said, I've been in the town for you don't dig? I think it looks pretty fucking good. Look like a moron. It suggests business, all right. Fucking power. <laughs> suggests you're a vulture. A vulture with an eating disorder. Look at the sleeves, mate. It doesn't even fit you. At least I don't look like a bottom feeder. Psst. I look familiar. Someone they can relate to. And more importantly, someone they can trust. Last time we were selling this stuff, we were selling the blokes in offices, right? Squares. We are selling the men here. Hard-working men in the factory, right? These blokes can't even afford to double up on their weekly wheat bix on their trip to the shops. The reason they're buying off needs to know this stuff's legit. With these fucking men. We'll get fucked. I'm not changing. What would you like? Alright. 
I'm gonna go load the car, chuck this shit in there, you go get some oh, breakfast. Fuck that, what if I stain my suit? Maybe you're crinkling it, carrying the fucking barrels down the stairs. Just go get the fucking brekkie. Oh, you know that? Oh, fuck it. Oh, prick. Look at that blind. Please. A car like this would give any old fart sight back. I'm driving. No. Come on. No, mate. Alright, here's the deal. Whoever does this spill his coffee, gets a drive. What are you talking about? Oh, fucking prick. Fucking prick. This is shit. What the shit, why not just fucking wash these? No, not the things. Fucking awesome. I'm sick of your games, man. Read the pamphlet yet? Where are they? Look in front of you, dickhead. They're good, but they say fucking Cetrus. Say what? Cetrus. Give me a fucking look. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking moron! Fucking hell! Cetrus, you mean citrus? Oh, fucking hell, give me a break. Fuck. <laughs> I used to play billiards with a Frank Cetrus, that's why I'm confused. Yeah, until you clobbered him. Another beer going to be mate. And the 20 bucks you know from last time. Oh! Oh! He's not breathing! That's a key point in our relationship, mate. What? Well if you didn't choose Cetrus at the eight ball tournament, then we wouldn't have met. Rattler, stand on the line there. Look at me. Turn the left. Valerie, how did you get out of your cell? Oh, Rattler, mate. Oh, 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 you're doing it. Sorry, big fella. You're doing it. 
What? Can someone get this kid Stop out? Stop fucking serious or fucking what? Idiot. what? Get out. Now. Well, this little hidden gem right here signifies the day we met. Cetrus. Frank Cetrus. Well, if it's such a key point in our mateship, how come you don't remember Frank Cetrus? Oh, memory is a funny thing, my brother. Oh, fucking please. Pull up here, pull up here, pull up here. Motherfucker. Oh. Panel shops. What about them? It's mostly panel shops that buy our product. How do you figure? Well, now it down to the fact that most panel shops are more than likely to go the distance with detail. They work all the way through the car taking their bog dust, factory dust, piss and probably even shit with them. But as for mechanics and auto electrics, the fuckers only really work in the engine bay, leaving no wriggle room for any exterior, you know, build up, so to speak. And primarily, cars that enter an auto elect or mechanic get in there that day and leave that day. Maybe it might push out another day, but I fucking doubt it. And that's why our little citrus sunrise, our precious little baby, does better in the environment of a panel shop. I don't know, I think all those places that offer some type of complimentary wash. I agree, but most of them probably wouldn't either. I don't know, mate. I get your theory, but that's not definite. I mean, yeah, they might be making us a little bit more dosh, but... I mean, surely every single fucking shop would have to maintain some type of duty of care and standard. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. But don't you think the responsibility grows a bit greater when the car's been in there for, you know, a week or even a month? Alright, I've lost you. That's okay. That's no drama. These things happen. Alright, think about it like this, okay? There's this theory I've got going on in my little head, alright? Listen. Little head. Yeah. Are you going to listen to me or not? Fucking far away. Alright. So, a mum takes her kid to a play date, okay? You with me? You with me? Are you with me? Okay, they go to the play date, and that kid's only there for the day, right? So perhaps that little fucker will get maybe bed and have a jug of cordial waiting for him there, okay? But things change if it's a sleepover, right? Listen to this bit. If it's a sleepover, it's the host's job to make sure that little fucker, all his needs have to be fulfilled, you know? He has to be fed, he has to be treated like it's their son, and more importantly, he has to get bait. Yeah, but don't you think a human life is a little bit more fucking important than a product and a clean car? Please, that's just your morals talking shit, mate. You know, responsibility, you know, is responsibility. Life's no more different than a product. It's basically the definition of capitalism. You buy a product and you fucking get what you pay for. Fucking hell, you are a sick fuck, you know that? You are a sick fuck. <sighs> it's just the way I see it. Where the fuck are we going next? Alright, alright, it's only a big fella. Alright. And next stop is Bang. Boxy's mechanics. You hear that? Mechanics. We don't sell the rest of this batch, it's proven off you. Your theory? Yeah. Your fucking theory. Yeah. Mate, you can jam your fucking theory up your ass. Alright, we risked everything for that fucking product. Alright, I'll get rid of it with or without you. Yeah. Alright, let's not forget, Big Bernie, that our product is nothing more than diluted OJ. We're selling for 60 bucks a barrel. Nothing short of a dirty scam, and don't you ever forget that. Yeah, 
very funny. Must be the place. Fucking take a look at it. Well, doesn't look like much of a mechanic shop now, does it? Maybe you should let me take this one. Is this about the fucking suit? Fuck if I know. It's just a useless apprentice. Sure, he knows ways around the car a bit, but that doesn't mean he's useless. Dude. You ain't even listening to me now, are you? Right, I'll pull up out the front of the shop. This little prick working on the truck. I've got to go, Dad. See ya. So you must be Fox. Yeah, that's me. Nice car. What's wrong with it? Not a thing. What? The car's fine. Well, what do you fellas want? We sell for OJ Degrees. Have you heard of us? No. Never heard of it. Well, my name's Charles and this is my sales cadet, Ethan. We stock all the shops around town. The auto elects, the mechanics and even the panel beaters. Yeah, here, here's our flyer. Not interested, boys. Now, fuck off. Fox, if we leave now, you're going to miss our once-in-a-lifetime offer. What offer? The chance to meet William Holden. Holden? That's right, Mr Holden. And not the car, Captain Shears himself. What the fuck does William Holden got anything to do with this? He represents us. Well, we represent him. He's our international spokesman for our product and soon to be the face of it. We've been removing dirt off his Cadillac for years. For the past... Two years. He loves OJ DeGreaser. William Holden uses your DeGreaser? That's right. Yep, every day. And you've met him? Yeah, yeah I've met him. Twice. Ethan is our sales rep in LA. California? That's right. In fact, he even flew to California himself and headed the contract over to Mr Holden. They shared the same shake. What's he like? Tense. Tall and tense. So if I buy it, I'll meet him. That's right, Mr. Fox. You could be dining at the, uh, the, uh, Golden Sheep Carvery Club. That's Melbourne's finest restaurant. That's right. You could be sitting across the table from Captain Shears himself, sharing the same entree plate, if you buy the rest of last month's stock. If you fix your attention to the back of the U, you'll see it. William Holden, eh? Yep, William fucking Holden. Light him up. Okay. 
Congratulations, you're in the big leagues now. Mr. William Holden. Huh? Always told you you should have given me a fucking chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You load them up, alright? That one's half fucking empty. Bro, don't give me a fucking hand. fucking paper. Okay, it suggests legitimacy, all right? Just go fucking give it to him, okay? Oh, better yet, look at this. That's 300 bucks. He's missing a century, all right? Yeah, go it's all right. I'll go get it. Him. I'll go get it. Back there. Fuck, I had me a point blank, alright? He fucking missed my head by a fucking beastie. Crazy old bastard, you should have clobbered the cunt. Fucking hell was I meant to do, mate? He was packed. Alright, did you get the money? No. Why not? Val, he had a fucking gun on me. Oh, crazy old prick, you should have yelled out. I would have fucking blown him away oh, with this. Oh, yeah, you're a real fucking cowboy, aren't you? I seen you, you were shit in your pants, mate. Well, you were the one running out of there sobbing like a little schoolgirl. Fuck you. Fuck you. We've barely got enough fuel to get to a servo. Four cans of beans, half a carton of eggs, and not to mention a big fucking curse on the back. To top it all off, it's just a matter of time before we get made by coppers. That's how it was meant to be the one. Instead, it's fucked us. Back to square one with six barrels to get rid of. So what? That's enough? That's not the point, okay? I'm not getting pinched because you couldn't hustle an old It was your job to too! A job you sabotage, we're goners. Fuck that. Still got the car. Still got the OJ degreaser. Still got our fucking lives. My life! OJ! We said fucking OJ, Bernie. So what? It was Cetrus Degrees, and that was the plan that went out the window as soon as we fucking got there. Fucking hell, just settle down, alright? So right? fucking hot. Just relax. Fuck. Relax. Ugh. I don't have fucking time to relax, alright? 
If I get done again, I'm going to fucking Pentridge. You know Pentridge? I'll be right in there with my good looks and asshole hanging out for display. Pentridge? You wanna fucking talk about convictions? I did fucking four years, I know all about it. I'm not stupid enough to go to jail, Bernie. Fuck you. I'm fucking over your shit. You think you're this fucking big upstart fucking salesman, all right? You're a prick, you're just a mean fucking prick. What are you talking about? You! I'm fucking sick of you. I'm over your shit. My shit. My shit. I'm sick of your shit. You're a big fucking stupid amateur. Right, I'm sorry, okay? No, I... fuck you! No wonder you got discharged from the army, you little fucking prick. Oh, yeah? Why don't you fucking come here and say it then, you fucking prick? Oh, my fucking suit! My fucking suit! Fuck you, Bernie! I fucking hate you! Why don't you just go fucking die? Nearly done? Yep, just about. Just about's not what I'm looking for. Nick, mate, you can't rush a good job. This Arvo. Tambour, you mate. Fuck you. Don't get too comfortable, there's a storm rolling in. Well? Big smash the tire. Yep. So? Like you said, it's a panel shop. You had an hour to think of something and this is what you come up with. Yes! We'll get fucked. Fuck you, Valerie. Oh, ouch. And get your fucking ass off my fucking car. There's no place for a coward to sit. What? You're a coward. Fuck you. These fucking things have more front than you. Go back to the gold rush in, all right? Get the same room. Put it under the same number, same name. I'll go get rid of this shit. 
You're a big fucking hero now, are you? Yeah, well, I've got no choice. <laughs> Bernie, open the fucking door. Open this door, Bernie. Bernie, open the fucking door, man! I'm not fucking around! And remember, same room! What? What the fuck? Fuel gauge fixed? Yeah, new sender in there for you. What about the carby? Clean as a whistle. Me? Tough as nails, boss. Yeah. Hey, go and grab me, buddy. You got it. A list for those phones while I'm out, right? Oh, and um, see Harvey Tagger here. Try not to hospitalise the cunt. We don't need more cops around here. Fuck him. Fucking kill the cunt! I told you, I changed them out, they scared the shit out of me! Fucking vultures! Who were these pricks? 
They look like hard nuts or what? Nah, they were too young fellas. They must have been salesmen or something. What were they driving? A white HQ and it must have been a fucking one tonner. They don't. These pricks show up again. Get back on that CV straight away and let me know what's going on. We'll sort these pricks out. I hope they do come back. I'd fucking shoot them. Hey, 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 settle down. Don't do one of that stupid. I'll sort these pricks out. Just get on that radio if they show up. Right on. Kick the fucking ball, will you? That's it. Speed. <laughs> Wait, cough? What? Fuck off. Mate, I don't fucking suck cock. Buddy, can I help you? Yeah, sure you can. But I think I can help you too. Painkillers? What kind of painkillers? Something faster than this. What speed? Hey, shh, shh. How much? 30 bucks a gram. Give me 40 and I'll give you a lift home. You trying to hustle me? Can't hustle a hustler, mate. What makes you think I'm a hustler? That suit under your arm, it looks sharp. Think so? What do you do with yourself? Give me a lift into town and I'll tell you all about it. You're not gonna bum me, are you? Don't worry about that, hustle man. I'll get you home. <laughs> and high.
Fucking Jesus. Fuck Jesus, oh God. So you did it. Oh yeah. Sold the curse for a hundred bucks over the usual price. That William Holden shit must have fucking worked. No shit. What happened to you? I got jumped. Who jumped you? Blackies. <laughs> the fuck did you threw the egg out this morning? These are real blackies. Not one. Probably like six of them. Oh, fucking cunts. There's nothing wrong, I was just hitchhiking. <laughs> Look at you. I told you I'd get you. Throwing eggs. What are you? Fucking 12? Big bad boyfriend to protect you now, eh? Where is he? What's his name anyway? Shit lips? Shit lips and fuck. Where'd you find that shit suit anyway? Maybe I should just sit me ball sack on your chest. <sighs> Got a few good punches in there. Well, unless you went out swinging, and that suit is fucked for good. Very funny. Beer me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Before I give you a beer from the beer that I purchased from my sale money, our sale money, you have to say some shit. We'll fucking go and spit it out. Oh, I'm sorry, Bernie. Oh, fuck off. For being wrong. Fucking hell, for being wrong. Ah, ah, ah. I didn't say fucking hell. Say it again. Look, if you're gonna be an asshole about it, just piss off. <sighs> I'm sorry, Bernie, for being wrong. What else? And for not listening. And for not listening. And sorry for being a tit sucking, mum fucking, cow sniffing, ass munching, pube flossing, shitty suit wearing poof. I'm sorry for being a tit sucking, mum fucking, ass munching, cow sniffing, pube flossing, shitty suit wearing poof. Housekeeping. Fuck off, Scrag! <laughs> <laughs> well said, mate. Well fucking said. Yeah, well, joke's on you. I got another source of self-medication, all right? You fucking junkie. So you're back on the gear now. You do realise that's what got you fucking locked up. Oh, don't give me that belly aching shit, Bernie, all right? It was fate that made me throw that egg this morning. It was fate that got me bashed. It was fate that you made the sale. And it was fate to put that gear in my fucking hand. Say what you will, I'm sitting here getting loaded tonight and there's nothing you can do that's going to stop me from doing exactly that. Now, 
Sit down there by your best mate and let's enjoy the night and get ruined like an alcoholic and his relapsing sidekick should. Listen, we get up early, we hit the road, we find another town. We're getting the fuck out of here. You have my word. Alright? Good? Alright. Wait, you're gonna have to help me with all this shit down here, man. I'm fucking got the cars is fucking full of shit. I've got fucking food, I've got eggs, I've got fucking everything. Well, buddy boy, I think that's a wrap. I don't know about you, but I could go not cap. A wrap. Since when does Bernie Rattler, the alcoholic con man, want a wrap and call it in for a nightcap? It's a big morning tomorrow, mate. Nightcap. Nightcap. I'll fucking cut you up a nightcap right here. Well, it ain't going up your nostril, mate, after your fucking slapping today. <laughs> fucking nightcap. Oh, I want a nightcap. I'm Bernie. Oh, shut the fuck up. Fucking idiot. Well, I'm going down the street, dickhead. Do you want anything? Oh, bottle of black mud marin, some cola, and oh, fuck. You had a note? Yeah, well, of course I got a note, but I'm about to go fucking spend it. Oh, fucking come on, you made enough of them today, just give me a note. Well, I've got an idea. How about you just rip that fucking band aid off your nose and roll that up? Use that as a straw. See you, big head. Oh, Bernie.
to Carlton Collingwood 11 of Evans 77 I tell you what it's not enough to give a commentator a heart attack a short pass out to Brewer and he's been I forgot don't I forgot go big on fucking dickhead What the fuck?
Nothing in this shit hole stays open past eight. Can you believe that? He's gone. Take it like a man. Sit on the bed. Drop your hands. If you start slobbering and carrying on, I'll fucking shoot you, alright? Does this taste like the bruiser to you? Seriously, drink it. Slowly. Smooth kid, real smooth, but for 70 bucks a barrel, you reckon you'd put something in there a little bit more potent, wouldn't you? Look at me! Fucking speaking to you. Thought you'd be a little bit more of a chatterbox, you know? The more you run your mouth off, the more you make a deal. Isn't that right? My name's Dick Harrington. I run Vic Smash and Toe. Fuck me. Fuck me indeed. Yeah, well, I missed you two boys today. I was out on a toe. Oh yeah? Win the job? Nah. Didn't ever make it to the scene. Shame. CB wouldn't stop yapping at me. How'd you find us? Bit of evidence. Bit of luck. You boys met my old man today. You boys robbed my old man today. 84 year old bloke. Barely left the fucking couch. We'll make ends meet. I have to throw money at the poor old bastard just to keep him fed. So when you think about it, you stole me money more than once today. It was my idea to go there. He had nothing to do with it. I know. How do you know? I know you were the one that made the decision to go to Foxy's today. But that little chunky had to die. He wasn't even with me when I went to your joint. That was my idea too. Fucking too bad, mate. You're fucking gone now. Fuck. Come on. It's a bit of thunder. Fuck's sake. So what happens now? You're gonna kill me? Bum me or something? <laughs> Why would I do something like that? I figured it's just the way it goes around here. Nothing but factories and sheds. Backward pricks like you slaving away in them. Backward, hard working pricks. I'm like you and your dead mate. What's the plan then? Put it this way. Okay, yap on what it means to be a man. Because you'd never understand. Just fucking shoot me then. Just like you did him. Fuck! Well, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna pick up your dead mate there, you're gonna roll him up in that rug, throw him on the back of that ute, and drive out where the fuck you come in from. And that's it? I'll be right behind you on your board. Where is it you want me to go? Don't you worry about that. When it's time, I'll overtake you and you follow me. But don't think about getting away anywhere. I know that little 202 doesn't need 351s. Whoever doesn't spill their coffee gets a drive. What are you talking about? Oh, fucking prick. That's what I thought. 
So you want me to bury him? You're yeah, good. Of course I want you to bury him. By the time you finish digging that hole, I might know what I'm going to do with you. You remember that little soft cock you hustled today? Jack. I gave him the ass today. I suppose that's my fault. Nah, his gullible tendencies got him where he is. <laughs> he might be a slum little shit kicker. But I've got to make him my guts that you're not gullible. That's one dodgy ape, mate. You want me to dig my best mate's grave? Not knowing it's mine? I'd say I am pretty fucking gullible. Just like Jack. Just like Val. Just like your old man. Just like you. My old man's not gullible. He's just old. Thank mm -hmm. you.
smash and tow. The only towing depot in the world that doesn't have a tow truck. Yep, that's right. We can do mechanical work, but here's the catch. We only work on the boss's cars. That's all we do. Yep. Oh, you bastard, that's tight. We are going under. Oh. Vic's mechanic, um, Vic's smash and toe, Bernard speaking. Vic's mechanic? Well, it's easy to mistake it for one. What are you doing? Working on the caddy. Where are you? Having a beer with Foxy. Oh. You don't sound very busy. Yeah, it's quiet. How quiet? Very quiet. Might be long. All right. Well, all right, bye. Vic smash and toe, Bernard speaking. Good day, Bernard. Alan, GM. Vic around? Vic. Yeah, mate. Yeah, hang on. I'll just look for him for you. Thanks, mate. And no kid. You there, mate? Yeah, mate. Yeah, he's not here. Yeah, it's a topic, isn't it? Pretty much. That's a, no, that's a whole nother can of worms. Smash and toe, Bernie speaking. Hello, Bernie, it's Peter from GM. I am the sales manager. I need to speak to Vic. Is he after Vic? Yes. Uh, yeah, he's not here. He's not there. Down. Well, he's normally there this time of the morning. Where is he? Oh, Where is he? You, yes. Sir. Alan, was it? Yes. Yeah, well, here's the thing, Alan. Um, to tell you the truth, Vic's gone and he's not coming back. Listen here, Bernard. You want to be a little smart ass? We can play it this way. Our freezer account and all your parts coming in for the next few months will not yeah. arrive. Uh, hey. All right, Alan. My name is not Alan. It's yeah, You have a good day, mate. I am the general manager. I am the sales manager at General oh. Motors. Dick Harrington owns the spot.
He looks comfortable. That's because I'm on smoke guy. Might as well am too then. GM called. Yeah? Yep. What are those freaks for? Counts closed. Why? Because the account's been closed. Well, why did you pay us? Because we got no fucking money. Give me the phone. I'll call them. No, no, I'll call them. Yeah, I'm my dead body, I'll call them. No, I'll call them. I've got to learn this shit anyway. It's ringing. Oh, really? JM Paths, this is Alan speaking. Alan? Yeah? Yeah, it's Bernie from Vic Smash and Toe. <laughs> and what can I do you for, buddy? Yeah, look, mate, this account situation, it's not happening. <laughs> I beg your pardon? The account, mate. Unfreeze it. Now. <laughs> well, why don't I go and ask my boss for you? He's right beside me, actually. Hey, Peter. Too long in the tooth. Oh, a bit long in the tooth, eh? That's right. And might I add, why don't you get your beef-headed bassoon of a boss to give me a call immediately? Hey, 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 hey. Don't talk about my boss like that. I will talk about him fucking say? Any way I want. No, 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 listen to me, mate. That account's going to be fucking sorted now. Hey! 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 I'll give you a fucking long in the tooth. Hey, Harrington. Yeah, and you want me to come down and knock every tooth out of the head, you little faggot? How dare you speak to me? Now we wait. You're awfully quiet today. Shut up. Is there something on your mind, old fella? There was. Yeah, all right. Flooded off somewhere, did it? Yep. Don't worry. We'll get the account back. I'll get onto it after this. I don't care about the account, Bernie. Ah, oh, sorry. I thought that's what was on your mind. There's always something on me mind, mate. Every time I think of something, you fucking butt in. I fucking shut up. Well, now you got me stumped. I want to help figure out what's on your mind. Yeah, well, you know, when me and Val were on the road, we used to have a lot on our minds. Business meetings, dealing with different people, maps. Shut the fuck up! Can you grab us a flathead?
One more. Bang. You fucking red bag! You fucking red bag! Morning. Good mate. So I keep going. <laughs> Get a little bit of that 16. <laughs> 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 you need more sweat or something on your face, I'm gonna see it. Yeah, I'll spit in these bars off the top of the dome and get in the car. You're a no good girl, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's just a bot! Oh, oh. 